The story of Sarah Emma Edmonds. Sarah was born in December of 1841 in New Brunswick, Canada. Because Emma grew up on a farm, she spent most of her childhood dressing up like a boy and performing farm chores that usually a boy would do. This helped her develop a strong, lean body that in later years helped her disguise herself as a man named Franklin Thompson. When Sarah was about 15 years old, her father made arrangements for her to marry a farmer who was about twice her age. Her mother did not approve of this, and while she was supposed to be preparing for the wedding, she made secret arrangements for her youngest daughter, Sarah Emma, to leave home. For the next two years after Sarah ran away, she worked at a hat shop owned by their family friend, Miss Annie Moffat. After two years of hiding, Emma's father finally found her hiding place. She knew that her father would still want her to get married to the older farmer. Because of Sarah's height, dark skin, large features, deep voice, and her strong, flat-chested body, it was not difficult for her to become Franklin Thompson. Her first job as Franklin Thompson was becoming a Bible salesman. After losing her job as a Bible salesman, she used her last $5 to come to the United States. In 1860, she arrived in Hartford, Connecticut, without knowing a single person and with no money. In 1862, a job for a federal spy had opened up. She spoke to a chaplain who agreed to recommend Franklin Thompson as a spy. Franklin's first job was to disguise himself as a plantation slave. On these missions, Franklin had to live like a slave. He had little to no food and no place to sleep. Being a spy during the Civil War was not easy. Having to live in some of the worst conditions possible just to get some information shows true dedication to the United States.